In this video, I want to show you guys how to actually complete paperwork when you have a buyer wanting to write an offer or a seller wanting some listing paperwork. So I'm going to jump into SkySlope here. Um, and so this is your homepage when you come into SkySlope. I want to reiterate something. The create transaction process should only be used once you have an offer accepted. The create listing process should only be used once you have a listing that is active. When we're just writing offers or creating paperwork, we don't use these yet. Uh, if we're just doing documents, all your documents and signatures are going to be done in the forms section. So transactions and listings are only for under contract or active listings. So if we're just writing the paperwork for our client to sign, we're going to do it in forms. So I showed you in the last video how to set up a template, so we're going to use that now. So whenever you come into forms, if I have a buyer, say we just looked at the house yesterday, they said they want to write an offer today. Um, you know, we looked at this one right here, um, 1849 Easton Lane. They say they want to make an offer. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to create a new file. We're going to say it is a buyer. Uh, their name is uh, buyer, um, buyer, and um, and their email is uh, care.bet at Yahoo. So if I have another buyer, uh, a wife or a, a, a spouse, uh, you know, another spouse or a mom or dad or whatever it might be, we'll add them here. I don't, there's just one, so I have them here. Then I'm going to put the uh, address of the property that we're going to be making an offer on. Put that there, so that fills in. How would I like to name my file? So I always like to do the address, dash, buyer, uh, buyer, so buyer, and then last name. So that way I can search my files by their last name or by the address. So I have both of them in the title. Now it's gonna ask me if I wanna start a template. So I created these templates for buyers. Let's say this is an FHA buyer. I'm gonna use the FHA template. It's gonna have me preloaded documents that I already set up. So I'm gonna go to create. So when I set up my template, I preloaded these six documents, the disclosure of brokerage duties, the estimated cost to buyer, the residential sales agreement, FHA loan addendum, affiliated business disclosure for EXP and wire fraud disclosure. So this is all the documents I'm gonna need to write my offer except for the disclosures. So for the disclosures, I'm gonna come back to the MLS, go to my supplements, I'm gonna download the disclosures, download them to your um, computer, however you normally do it. I've downloaded them. I'm going to go back into Skyslope and I'm going to upload the document. So now I'm going to upload the disclosures um, to my templates. So now it has the six template documents that I, um, or the tick, six documents that are in my template plus uh, the property condition disclosures. Sorry. So I've got to select all. Now I'm going to go to fill and send. So I go straight through to prepare signatures on these documents because this allows me to add um, text box, check box, signatures, that kind of stuff. So um, so now we're going to create an envelope. So an envelope basically is me sending them something to sign. So file has all the documents in it, but an envelope is a request for signatures. Think of it like that. So I'm going to name the envelope and it's going to be Easton Buyer, um, uh, Easton Lane Buyer Buyer is the name of the envelope. So it's going to have who signs it. So buyer Byerton is going to be the buyer and they're going to need signatures. And then me is just going to, I can receive a copy or no action at all. So I've named my envelope. I've identified who's going to need to sign. So if I had two buyers, you would see their name down here as well, but I've only got one buyer. So they're going to do this. So I'm going to click next. And now I can edit the documents as I need to. So I'm going to go in here. Um, I'm going, uh, this one's already got a check. Uh, this one already pre-filled out the signatures. So I'm gonna have Buyer Byerton. I'm gonna sign this to Buyer Byerton right there. I already put the information there. Um, I'm gonna put the sales price here. Uh, it is listed at 239.9. So uh, 239.9. Go down here. Oh. It's going to add all this up. So you can see it adds up all my expenses, but it didn't add up to 239.9. So I'm going to do 239.9 plus 3995. So the total is going to be. Um, approximately 243.
And then you can strike through. Um, you can strike through that wrong number there. So there is the new uh, net seller. Again, it already puts the signature there for the buyer. It's got the address on here. We want to add a checkbox here uh, saying that they had um, uh, add another checkbox here saying they've got the uh, that they've got the lead-based paint disclosures there. Um, that checked and then we're gonna have that check uh, again got the signature here now this is where we can start filling out who the seller is uh, seller is seller uh, sellerton um, we are going to offer um, what was the list price here 2399 American Eagle as my uh, title company. The earnest money is going to be a thousand. Can move that around. Uh, closing date is going to be, we'll say, uh, 6 1 2023. Just making these numbers up. And, you know, you, you get the idea. I can add these text boxes as I need. Signatures are added already. Um, kind of go through all the documents that I need, add all the information that I normally do and need, uh, and then we click um, send. So this is the ready to send. It's going to have the email subject line. So you can say you have documents to sign. You can say, um, uh, we can say uh, Easton Lane offer docs. Uh, please sign these docs for the offer on Eastern Lights. Um, so whatever you want to put here, uh, whatever you want to call the email, whatever you want to note, you want to leave the client put here. Then we're going to hit send for signatures. So you can see our envelope has been sent. Now we're going to go over to my email that I sent it to, and hopefully it's fast. There we go. So you see the email came from Brett Kreger. It says Easton offer docs. So this is what your client is going to see. Brett Kerr has requested your signatures. Please sign these docs for Easton Lane. Uh, I'm gonna, the buyer will click get started. The buyer's gonna click agree, and then they'll click start, and then they'll be prompted to uh, go through here and sign everything. So sign, sign, uh, check, check, sign, sign, sign. This is what most of your buyers do. <laughs> so I went through, now they're done. They're gonna hit finish signing. This is what they do, this is not what you do. So they're gonna say all done. So they have successfully signed all of your documents. So back on this end, you're gonna see the status is complete because I just signed it. So this envelope is gonna say complete. Uh, so that means that I can um, download this envelope as a PDF or individual PDFs, and then I can send that offer. So I'm gonna download it. There it is downloaded. So now I can go to uh, I can go to my email. You can't really see anything. So now I can go to my email. I can email the uh, listing agent and I can say Easton Lane offer. Uh, and then I'm going to drop. There we go. And drop that. So now I have the PDF in the email. I said East Lane offer. Please see attached offer on Eastern Lane. Bam, submitted. So that is the process of writing an offer and submitting it. Now, once you get it back received under contract, I can show you how to go in and uh, create a transaction. Um, or if you receive, um, let's say maybe you get a counter offer back. Uh, let's jump into that. If you receive a counter offer back. You're going to just come into um, these files, click on that file, and you're going to add a form. And you'll say counter offer, uh, buyer's counter offer. 
hit add, hit next, and now you'll see the counter offer here. So now you're only going to click that counter offer. You're not going to click anything else in the file, only the counter offer. So you click that counter offer, hit fill and send, uh, prepare, or you can actually say, so you can edit here, um, purchase price to be blah, 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 save, um, buyer wants 5,000 in closing costs, you know, whatever it might be, fill it out however you want it, then go to prepare signatures, just like we did earlier. It should fill that signature for your buyer already and then hit send. So as you need little onesie twosie documents, you can come into the file. I'm just backing out now, so hold on. As you need one or, you know, random documents, you just come into the file. So as I need something random for, um, for Mr. Byerton, I click on his file and I can just upload the document if it's something that another agent sent me, or I can add a form if it's already in that big list of OREC forms or uh, Oakmar forms and GTAR forms. And then if I only have one document to edit and send, I just click that individual document. Go to prepare, go to send, and there's stuff like that. So again, we don't create, uh, let me stop sharing. We don't create transactions and listings until the listing is live or until the transaction is accepted. So that's how we do documents in the file of a buyer while we're writing offers. So this is really how to write an offer. Um, I'll do how to write a listing in another video, but hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully uh, you guys can get through this quickly now.